Hello guys. So I want to show you this web application that I just created. Okay. Now this web application, I have it on GitHub. Okay. And uh, I built it with the Spring Boot and uh, front end I did it with React. Okay. Now I'm not going to go through step by steps showing you how to write the code. No, but I'm going to leave this application on my GitHub. So you can actually access it and actually learn how to build this uh, alone, you know, because at the end of the day, I believe that using, if I start coding to you step by step and you start copying all the codes, you'll not be able actually to be in a space where you understand how to build this, okay? So right now with the world of AI, it's easy actually to be in a space where you can understand what exactly, how exactly to, to, to just go about this, okay? At the end of the day, as I am a teacher teaching you how to code, I also want you to be in a space where you're putting more effort and more work, okay? If you want to learn how to build simple web application using Spring Boot and uh, React, uh, if you go down my app, uh, other videos that I've done, you will see how to build uh, an application step by step. I will sh I just show you how you can go through the codes and code alone. But for this one is a project that uh, is good for beginners. This is good for beginners because I want you to be able to learn how to do this thing alone. Okay. It's not a complicated web application. It's just showing you how to create an application connected to the database using Postgres. The application is connected to uh, Postgres, is connected to Doc. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to take, in a nutshell, I'm going to show you what I've done. So at least at the end of the day, I want you to be able to, to go ahead and do that, okay? So here, I build up this application using um, Spring Boot. Back end, uh, I build it and I created a, a one, two, three, four, five. I created a, a five classes here with one interface. Okay, so if I click on statistic, I have this code here. And this one is mapped into database. As you can see here, it's mapped into database. And uh, the database name table is called statistic here. Okay, and here I have ID, label, value. So basically, this application actually is just a simple application showing you how to display data using graph, okay? To some extent, you might want to know how to display data using graph, okay? Let's say probably you're tracking uh, the number of uh, people visiting your application, okay? And this can be, it's a live display of information or the live display of the number of people who view your application actually, or probably if you're trying to track your inventory or you're trying to track the number of uh, what and the number of sales that you get from your application from, from from your web from probably your online market okay and it shows you it shows you the track it, it tracks actually the 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 number of um of, of sales that you do actually okay so i'm gonna show you actually very quick before i go i dive deep in what i have done i'm just gonna show you how it works okay so what i'm gonna do is that i package this application into a jar file and it's here so if i go to target and go straight to uh uh, I packaged it and this is the jar file here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run this application as a jar. So if I click on application, make sure that your, your Docker is up and running. I have my Docker up and running here. I've created an image. Okay. So make sure your application, your Docker is up and running. So as you can see, it's up and running. So what I'm going to do is that I will bring this here. And I'm going to type localhost 8080 because that's where the, uh, the, the application is running on. So if I click on enter, you see it displays actually the front end. It's a dashboard. And actually it shows you what exactly this shows. And this is just an example, okay? So what it shows is that it shows the number of time, the what time probably a person visited my application and how many people visited the application, okay? So 
it shows the number what time the person visited my application and what time and the information is updated after every five seconds so i'm gonna send i'm gonna use post mapping to send the information so so that you can see how it's working okay so um this is the post here the the the, the url here uh, and then the time is nine and probably at nine i had five people visiting my application so what happens is that it's collect this data and then it's going to send into the database and then after sending into the database it's going to be displayed here in five seconds so if i click on send uh you see it's over here five okay and uh, at nine i had five people actually okay it shows here so if i change probably and say at probably 12 noon this is 12 noon and then probably i had maybe uh 10 people visiting my applications if i click you're gonna see it changes so at 12 i had uh five uh, 10 people actually visiting my application it shows you actually then at the end let's say probably um at three okay 13 that is one i had probably uh four people visiting my uh web web or my website so if i click you're gonna see that it's building up the curve okay then let's say at probably uh for what uh at maybe four and then uh we had probably uh a hundred people actually visiting my application so if i click it's gonna show 100 people visited my application so here we have nine it was about five people who visited my application and it shows here statistic five so if i come here at 12 i had probably 10 people visiting my application at 13 i had i think um four people visiting my application at probably four i had four people visiting my application so you at least track the number of people who probably visit your application okay so this is just a nice simple application that if you're a, if if you're a beginner learning how to code actually or build a front or a back end you can use this so let me take you through the my application here so i have this classes that I've built here. I have the statistics here. Then I have uh, the controller here. I have get mapping, post mapping. And this is the API address here, okay, that I'm using here. Then after that, I have the service here. So I'm saving, it's very simple actually. I'm getting all the statistics and I am, I am I'm saving the statistic, okay? So after saving, then I can be able to display so this here is connected to front end if i go straight to front end the front end is here so if i go straight to src here and go straight to client so this here this is a um, table actually that co is connected to the api back end and it gets information from the back end it fetches information from the back end so it has fetch all statistics add new statistic and uh, explain method to fetch statistic by id okay you can do that if you wanna i haven't yet configured this but it can be something that you can try to to to, to configure okay then um, once this it gets the information from the back end it sends it to app.js and this here is the application itself okay uh, for me to be able to display this in graph, you have to go ahead and install React Chat here. You have to install this here so that you can be able to use uh, tables, okay? Um, get all from client. I'm getting it from client.js, okay? And then all these are imports. Then after that, I'm getting the statistics information from the back end then uh, i'm using use fetch update uh, graph data then i have these these are actually just uh, css you know just to give it a different color and then i'm returning a table here 
okay a dashboard no you can change this one actually i can change it if i want to change this dashboard this name here i can just get rid of it if i want to get rid of it then oh actually i'm not running this application um i'm i'm running it in a jar file okay so there's not even if i change it will not reflect the changes until i stop my my jar file and then try to run it using um front end you know then that's that's the time i'll be able to make these changes okay then uh yeah um just go through this i'm gonna leave this in my uh, GitHub, and then you can try at least to build it up alone. See if you can actually uh, try to actually design it, design it differently. Add some 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 different colors. Yeah, just practice with it, you know. And then at least it gives you a nice, you know, um, idea on how actually to build uh, an application and display data as a, as graph. Okay um then i what i did is that after i created this jar file here uh after i created this jar file here i then managed to send it to uh docker actually so if i go straight to to my docker if i click here and go straight to docker uh sorry I'm going to docs so if i go straight to docker desktop click on this um docker i want to sign into docker actually i think i can sign it from here i can sign it uh actually in short i pushed it to docker okay so i created an image in docker i'm trying to push it into aws i'm still working on that and uh yeah so if if you have any question on how to build this just let me know leave a comment if you like the video you know just leave something there that will motivate me to continue building up these things for you you know just for you to try you know just you know like the video let it be recommended to many others you know yeah and uh subscribe i'll see you later